Today we're going to start learning about logarithmic equations. Logarithms are the opposite of exponents. So in the past, if I gave you 2 to the x equals 6 and asked you to solve it, if this was x squared, we could square root it. If it was x to the fourth, we could take the fourth root. If it was 2 times x, we could divide by 2. But how do you undo an exponent of x? We've never had a way to do that before. So right now, all we could do is say, well, 2 squared is 4, and 2 to the third is 8. So it must be like, I don't know, maybe 2.5, and then we'd try 2.5 and see if it works. The only thing we could do is guess and check. But today we're going to learn about logarithms. This expression, 2 to the x equals 6, if I do this fancy little log ride, I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 6 equals x. And then that could be evaluated using formulas or using your calculator, and we could figure out exactly what x is. So this is kind of like the square root to the square, the fourth root to the exponent of four, the division to the multiplication. This is the inverse of an exponential function. Okay, now I'll be honest, I did not write these notes, and so I was looking through this. Let b and y be positive numbers, comma. I don't really know what's supposed to go in this blank. Like, I, I just, I don't know. And then it says the logarithmic, it should just say the logarithm. So I edited these notes really well, didn't I? This, I, I think I need to call this a rough draft, and I need to go back and fix it a little bit. Yeah, but just because I'm a math teacher doesn't mean that I like have permission to stink at English. I, sh I should still, you know, I should still still uh, speak good sometimes. That's a joke. Those of you watching the video, it's a joke. The logarithm of y with base b is denoted by this log base b of y. And here's the official definition. Log base b of y equals x if and only if b to the x equals y. And this is read log base b of y. Okay, I have a couple goals today. One goal is to get you to say this correctly. Log base b of y. Log base b of y. One more time. Log base b of y. Okay, so there's like three people saying that, but we, we get it. Log base b of y. The other thing is that you write it correctly. So I'm going to write this a little bit bigger. It's like log and y are typed using the same type of letters all in a line. And the base is smaller subscript below the log. Some people try to write this and it ends up looking like log of b to the y. You don't want y to look like an exponent. You need b to be smaller and subscript. Okay, to change forms, we're going to practice changing forms. We're going to do the log ride. There's a story for why I call this the log ride, but basically it's just me looking like a fool and making sound effects, which by the way, the sound effects are required. You all ready for this? No. Start at the base. So I'm going to write log base B of Y equals X. Start at the base B. We're going to curve around to the X and then back up to the Y. And as we do this, it's like we're going on a log ride and we have to like scream, okay? Not like really scream. We can. We totally can. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! I was so confused. Okay. <clears throat> so notice here where I wrote B to the X equals Y. Look at the order of those letters. B to the X equals Y. That's the order that this little swoop touches. So if you have it in logarithmic form and you need to rewrite it as an exponent, start at the base and woo up to the y, b to the x equals y. 
So let's rewrite some of these. Number one, log base three of nine equals two. Should we practice saying that? Do you want to? You want to practice? You guys don't want to practice, do you? No, you don't. They're afraid of the video. They're, they're not brave. Okay, start at the three. You ready to woo with me? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Woo! That was a really, really poor, <laughs> poor effort. Okay, now let's write this as exponents. The first number is three. Raised to the second equals nine. The order that you write the numbers follows that little log ride swoop. What happens if, wait, so do we have to like solve it after? Nope, we're just rewriting. We're not solving yet, we're just rewriting. Okay, when we do solve, what happens if they don't? They will. And check this out. Does 3 squared equal 9? 3 squared does equal 9. So log base 3 of 9 is actually 2. On the next one, start with the base of 8 and 1, 2, 3. Woo! Okay, that was a little, no, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> and then write it as exponents. 8, the next number we write is what number? So 8 to the 0 equals 1. Try number 3 on your own. Start at the 5. Woo! 5 raised to the negative 2 equals 1 over 25. Okay, the good news is the same trick works to go the other way, to start with exponential form and rewrite it as logarithmic. Start with your base of 6 and 1, 2, 3, woo! Still no. This is the order that we're going to write the numbers. So we start with L-O-G. What number do you suppose I'm going to write first? Six, and that's the base, so subscript of 36 equals 2. I would like you to try 5 and 6 on your own. Pause the video, try them on your own, make sure that you do the woo. The woo is incredibly necessary. Woo! Log base 16 of 1 16th, this is a time when parentheses might be helpful, equals negative 1. And, whoo, log base 125 of 25 equals 2 thirds. How'd you do? Okay. In your assignment, these three problems are going to say, Figure out what these equal without using a calculator. But let's be realistic, you are going to use your calculator a little bit. I just haven't taught you how to do log base 3 of 81 in your calculator yet. So put this equal to x and then change forms. This will give us a little bit more practice at changing forms. Start at your base, woo, 3 to the x equals 81. And we're basically doing this old school because we don't know how to evaluate logs yet. I know that 3 squared is 9. 3 to the third is 27. What's 3 to the fourth? 3 to the fourth is 81. So log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Okay, let's try this for the others. Put them equal to x, change forms, and then see if you can figure out what that exponent is supposed to be. Woo! 2 to the x equals 16. I know 2 to the 3rd is 8, so 2 to the 4th is 16. That one's also 4. Okay, so for number 8, log base 2 of 16 is 4. Number 9, log base 4 of 64 is 3. There is a log button on your calculator. The log button on your calculator is one specific type of log. It's called the common log. So I would like you to write this into your notes. Draw a calculator button with the word L-O-G on it. This button on your calculator means log base 10. 
if you see log, if you see log written with no base, that means it's base 10. Kind of like, you know how a cube root has the little three in the index, but a square root doesn't have a two in the index? You just know that if there's no index, it's a square root. If you see log with no base, you know that it's base 10. The other button on your calculator is ln. ln is the natural log. It's the logarithm with base e. So ln means log base e. That's why e is directly above the ln button because they are related to each other. So to evaluate log of 5 in your calculator, you are going to take your calculator, type the log button, and 5, if you get 0.699, you did it correctly. Then try ln of 0.1. You get negative 2.303. You did that correctly. To find inverses, do you remember that f of x is a fancy way of saying y equals? When we find inverses, the first thing we do is switch x and y, and then we have to get y by itself. So y becomes x, and x becomes y. To find inverses, we switch and solve. Switch x and y, and then solve. Here's the problem. y is inside the logarithm, so we need to change forms. And when we do the little woo, we always go to the right. Can I move this equals x over to the other side? Yeah, it doesn't matter where your equals x is, if it's on the left or on the right. So I moved my equals x to the other side. And now I'm going to do the log ride to change forms. Woo! 3 to the x equals y. The inverse of log base 3 of x is 3 to the x equals y. So if I take 2 and plug it in, 3 squared is 9. If I plugged 9 into the original log base 3 of x, I would end up with 2 as my answer. These two functions undo each other. I want you to try number 19. It's just like number 18. So try number 19 on your own. Pause the video if you're watching at home. Did you pause? I don't think you paused. So this is y equals log base 8 of x. Change y to x. Change x to y. And then I'm going to put my equals x on the left side, or on the right side. And then, woo, 8 to the x equals y. ln is similar. But you need to remember what we talked about up here with the natural log. ln means log base e. So because we know we're going to be changing forms, I rewrite ln as log base e. Change your y to x. Change your x to y. And again, if you want to put equals x on the right to make it easier, eventually you'll be able to do the woo to the left. But for now, let's just always do this to the right. One, two, three, woo. E to the x equals y minus 3. Is that one done? Y is not by itself. How do we get y by itself? So e to the x plus 3 equals y. I would like you to try number 21 on your own. Here's number 21. On worksheet one, 
I'm gonna say this for the video. Oh, I ran out of time. Never mind. <laughs>